Is it Star Wars? It is! There has been an awakening. Mm. Have you felt it? <laughs> Goodness! Oh no, I haven't seen this yet! Diversity! Oh, so excited! <laughs> That's the cutest what? thing I've ever seen. I just kept my hype meter way down when I watched this for the first time. I don't know how I feel about this trailer. I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for this. The effects look great. The dark side. What? Goosebumps. And the light. What do they do with the little side ones? I don't know. <laughs> John Williams, bless your soul. No bad shot right there. God, so cool. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, play it again. That's gonna be great. 2015 December. God, gotta wait. Still a year away though. Now I'm sad. I looked at this. There isn't anything there. I mean, it's it's little snippets that I. It's just like, can you give us a little bit more? So scale of one to ten, how excited are you for new Star Wars? I'd say an eight. Nine, a solid nine. At least a twelve. I feel like ninety-eights perfectly describes my excitement out of 10. I think before seeing that trailer, I was at a five, six. Yeah. Like, I'm not a big Star, Star Wars fan, but now I'm at a 10. Yeah. Oh, God, can I say I'm equal parts excited as I am, like, hesitant? I'm gonna keep myself down at, like, a one. I'm gonna I don't like to get 10. excited for these things. I'm gonna get all the way at a 10, because you gotta set your expectations before you see a movie, and sometimes you just gotta set them really high and just be ready to be disappointed. <laughs> as far as teaser trailers go, how do you think they did with this? I didn't like it. I wanted to see so much more. They didn't even show, like, the original cast members. I think they should have teased that a little bit more. I didn't know what was going on, but the graphics were really cool. Yeah, it was just aesthetically pleasing. I think they did good. There was threads all over Reddit that were, like, picking it apart frame by frame, which I feel like... If that's what people are doing, they did a good job. Their goal was to make news, get people salivating, so it achieved their marketing objective. It gets you talking, it has enough fan service that you see, you know, the Millennium Falcon, but there's a lot of new stuff too, so I think I think they did a good job with it. I'm glad to see the lightsabers are getting this like Oh yeah, original, they, there's, like, a, there's, a new, feel. there's a new lightsaber effect with some like electricity stuff and some fires. It's, like they sat back and were like, all right, let's make our lightsaber effects a little more complicated than what kids can do in After Effects these days. Yeah. <laughs> can you tell us how you first discovered Star Wars? How I very first discovered Star Wars? Oh man. It had to have been my parents showing me when I was a kid. It was introduced to me by my parents. I think I saw one in the theaters when I was little. My dad is a huge science fiction buff. He read me the entire um, Hobbit Lord of the Rings series like that was my bedtime stories and he also loved uh, Star Wars. I first discovered Star Wars on a VHS in like this archive of the old VHS tapes my dad had. Early 90s I went to a library that had VHS tapes that didn't even have the pictures like they printed the names of the movies. I don't know if there was ever a time where I didn't know Star Wars. <laughs> Did you like the prequels? I, I like all of them. You know what? Internet, gonna go out on a limb here and say they weren't as bad as everyone said that they were, okay? I like the prequels. If you watch the originals now and watch the prequels, I mean, no, the originals were lacking too. I was disappointed in them. I'd be lying if I said I liked them. Revenge of the Sith was fine. The other two, um... <laughs> It's like, how can you gain so much and lose so much? I liked the end of the third one because it was the part where it got back to the normal trilogy. Yeah. This is the part where the, the prequels were ending and it was like, <laughs> yes, it's back to the normal story. Who's your favorite all-time Star Wars character? Ooh, R2-D2. Yoda. Lando. Oh, Darth Vader, definitely. I think Boba Fett's pretty kick-ass. Probably Leia, just because she's the identifiable, like, heroine and, like, rebel princess who kissed her brother. So we're all flawed. I was I Jar -Jar. such a Jar Jar Stan. <laughs> For some reason, I had like a t-shirt and everybody hated him. My parents were like, he's so annoying. I definitely wanted to be Han Solo. Um, still want to be Han Solo. My name's not even Hannah, you know? It's Han... Ma... Solo. Han Solo? Not Jar Jar? Don't insult my intelligence. No. I don't think... Is he anyone's favorite? Everyone hates him. He was so nice. He was so nice. 
He was a symbol of like innocence. I yeah. loved him. What is it about Star Wars that even though it's almost 40 years old now, it's still kind of king of all fandoms? I think that it was just this really awesome new concept that no one had done before. It set the tone for space epic opera. Fandom probably really began to be accessible with this and then 40 years from now, there'll be a lot of lasting fandoms. So with Star Wars coming back, it's another in the long line of previous intellectual property being rebooted, whether it's Star Trek or the endless Marvel and DC Comics movies. It seems to oversaturate the market. Do you like all that content being made, or do you wish there was more original movies like this being created now? I mean, I like reboots as long as they're good. It is cool to see a new rendition of it, especially with all the technology they have these days. As long as it's like a quality film, like I know there's some superhero movies that I'm like, oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> but I'm um, not gonna name any names, but <laughs> Daredevil. But um, <laughs> Jeff, I like new stories, and maybe that's partly because I'm a creator myself, and I like to create original content rather than rehashing. I'm excited that things that were considered geeky are now becoming mainstream, and there's being so many movies and TV series about the things that I love growing up. I'm just concerned that the quality of it's gonna go down, it's all just pandering to this new nerd and geek is in. After doing a lot of fan films, like in stuff on our channel, the thing that I've realized is that even if you're like rebooting an old IP or going to somebody else's IP that already exists, you still have to write a story for it that has to be an original story. And so regardless of whether or not it's a character that you already know, if you want it to be a really good movie, it's basically the same thing as starting from scratch. In the 80s, there was that level of adventure where you'd do a big budget movie that was a completely new franchise. I miss Willow. I miss the never ending story. I wish that there were more people who went out on limbs in Hollywood and just, you know, say, hey, we're gonna do this big budget flick and it's new. Truth. So back to this trailer, people are dissecting every single frame. I saw that same thread. What do you think about the fandom that obsessing that much over this teaser trailer? I think they're tripping. I mean, you got 88 seconds. That's insane. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It's like reading one chapter of a book and trying to judge the entire book off of that. I think that's perfectly natural. I mean, that's what we do with teaser trailers. You're talking about me and, and my wheelhouse here, right? Like, that's what I do. I dissect Mario's height, so good on you, people. Keep it up. I support you. I'll probably be right there with you. I love it when people are fully nerdy about something. You know, like I have my things that I am such a nerd over. And I think it's really cool when people embrace that side of themselves because, you know, if you're pretending you're not a nerd about something, then you're lying. So last question, will the new Star Wars live up to the hype? I hope so. Hell yeah. It's gonna be crazy and I'm gonna be there day one, sitting there with my popcorn, enjoying it. I go into every movie with extremely low expectations. So for me, it's already surpassed it and I've only seen eight seconds. You hire a carpenter to build a table, you look at the tables they've built before. I like J.J. Abrams and his other tables. J.J. Abrams knows what he's doing. He's made enough solid good films to get it. Yeah, and with the pressure of Star Wars on his shoulders, I'm sure he'll do a good job. I don't think so. I just think the Star Wars hype has been building and building for like decades, so I don't think they'll live up to it. I don't think any movie that is, you know, a return to a, an iconic franchise like this could ever possibly live up to the hype because you're trying to meet so many different fan expectations. I have no clue, but I'm excited to find out. I will probably, you know, I'm gonna go, so I'll let you know. Thanks so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. You will subscribe to all the channels below. All of them. Goodbye! Let's hope the new Star Wars movie's good Cause if it's not, everyone will be disappointed. <laughs>